A welcome to one of the noisier grounds in English football. It's not the biggest, but the supporters are so passionate. Selhurst Park, the home of Crystal Palace Football Club, and Alan Smith and I, Martin Tyler, will be trying to keep our voices above the din so that you can hear our commentary. Coming up now, Crystal Palace, and they face Southampton. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. That ball's his best friend when he receives it. And uh, it's so difficult to get it off him. The Saints, can they go marching in Southampton? Alan, what do you think? I thought they'd be in this kind of position, and so it has proved mid-table, which has not been bad for them. But if they don't keep the concentration, they could easily fall off and start sinking down that table. I'm great. Here's the Crystal Palace team. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Thank you, Selhurst. Two changes for Southampton today. Maya Yoshida starts, looking to continue his good form at the back. Yeah, Emil Hoybjerg starts with Mario Lamina in the centre of the park. Charlie Austin is the lone striker today. Everything ready for the kickoff. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. He's given the free kick, but no sign of the card. Maybe he just wants to make sure he's not made a rod for his own back with an early booking. Cleared it well. Opportunity to cross it now. It was dropping in, and the goalkeeper made sure it didn't by tipping it over. Now that's gone behind for a corner. He's put in the corner. Well, I thought it was in, Alan. Off the line. He didn't give up, that's the great thing. He did not give up on it and got back just in time. Good play. And a goal! Uh, saw it all the way, the goalkeeper, and it's comfortable in the end. Guided through. Played in the clear. He's got it back again from his teammate. It's a very good interception. Armstrong. Here's Danny Ings. Pass threaded through. Cut off! It's a drive of some power, but off target. Yeah, I'm lucky. He didn't quite get set for that one. Here's Lemina. He might be through. Gonna try his luck. Oh, he struck the frame of the goal. Well, the keeper had no chance, really. He stood and stared. He's tried to go for accuracy there, not far away at all. It's Ings. Not a good challenge by the defender. Good clearance. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Good cross into the near post.
Nice return pass. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Milivojevic. Trying to stretch the opposition, using the wider areas here. And the referee blows his whistle, the flag was up for offside. <laughs> Saw the pass coming and got there first. Shreds it through. It's Ings. Gets his cross in. Well, they got it wide very well, the chance to get the cross in, but it's not turned out to be a very good delivery. Townsend. Max Meyer. And the cross goes towards the far post. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Ings. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Now Austin. Guiding it through. In with a chance. And the ball's gone out for a corner. <laughs> Swung in from the corner. He worked so hard on his heading. He needs to do a bit more work, I think. Yeah, the keeper's waving that one bye-bye. Armstrong. It's Ings. Hit it well. Well, that's an absolutely stunning strike. I cannot believe he took that on, Martin. It, it stunned me and it certainly stunned the keeper. Well, they'll be showing that over and over again. Shoot, shoot, shoot is his philosophy and it pays off time and time again. Well, to be fair, they stood off him. He had the space, he had the time. And boy, did he make them pay. From the moment he hit it, you can see he knew it was going in. Southampton in front. Goal for Southampton. Number nine. Meyer. Andros Townsend. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Armstrong trying to steer it through. All Peters out rather for them. Meyer. Jordan Ayu. Andros Townsend. Bit of space for him. Now out on the wing. In quickly. Townsend. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. This is good work. In a wider area from Southampton. He's aimed it in towards the front post. Defended well. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. Pretty late, the challenge. For the ref, a decision, and the decision is yellow. I don't think anybody, least of all the player, can have any complaints about that. I thought that was 
Possibly dangerous, the replay might tell us. He's caught the man and not the ball, no doubt a foul. The shot gets blocked, cleared away, well away from goal. Here's Danny Ings. Southampton trying to use the width in this attack. They've opened them up here. Now it's offside, and it looks as though they might be in to score. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. The fourth official and the decision for the added time is three minutes. Three minutes of added time. Getting forward well as a team now. A quick note for your diary. Make a note of this particular date. EA Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture. Crystal Palace, they'll be facing Huddersfield Town. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. Mario Lemina. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, I thought he looked lively in that first half. Really sharp and obviously got the goal. Another. So the referee's happy, the players are in position, the second half gets underway. Interception here. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Guiding it through. But he's caught offside. Can you see what he's trying to do? It's all about the timing of the run. An easy one for the linesman. He was a good couple of yards. Here's Lemina. Good vision here. Can really get at the opportunity now. They've got a corner now. Corner's taken. And they get it away. Well, the team with the ball have got a problem now because the opposition are just sitting behind the ball and letting them pass in front. They've got to find some attacking players with some penetration in their passes. Room for the cross. They've blocked it then. A good place to win the ball back there because the pressure was starting to mount and the interception was timely to say the least. Patrick van Arnholt. It is an advantage for Crystal Palace and they're going to try and take advantage of the referee's decision. Cut out the pass. In behind the defenders. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. Referee is pointed for a corner. 
Oh, well played the referee. He's gone back to the offence that deserved the booking. He didn't want to stop the play at the time, and he's quite entitled to do what he's doing here. Yeah, I think we all thought he was going to go back, but good to see advantage being played. Corner played into the middle. Choosing to punch the corner away, the goalkeeper this time. It's Ings looking for teammates in the middle. Very close in, Alan, but not very close to scoring. Yeah, a simple save in the end, and it should have been anything but. He should have been picking it out of the net, the keeper. Milivojevic. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Quick into the tackle, and the result is going to be a throw. Milivojevic. And there's the interception. And that will clear the danger. Sims. Here's Lemina. Here's Yoshida. Taking on the defenders. It's a good cross. Good power in that punch away by the goalkeeper from the cross. Max Meyer. Milivojevic. Patrick van Arnhol. So we'll restart with a throw in. Maya Yoshida. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. A bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Cleared away, well away from goal. He can cross it now. Saw the ball, went for it. Meyer on the move and able to cut out the pass. Mario Lemina. Well, it is his birthday today. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. Opportunity in a wider area. The shot's on. Oh, charged down. It's getting very desperate for Crystal Palace. Well, it's not going to be a complicated approach now. Long balls into the box from any angle. It's all about trying to win that first header. Sacco. Patrick Van Arnhol. Sacco. Well, you can't knock the fans. They're trying to do their bit to push the team on for an equaliser here. Go for the ball. Mario Lemina. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Can pull it back here to set up a chance. Just seemed to be a bit too tense at the final moment, and it could have been an important moment for them. Well, I just thought it was careless, actually. Counting down in the last ten minutes here, nine to go. Well, there's a big support here for them. And those supporters want to see just a little bit more in the time that remains. Well, there's always pressure on you when you're playing in front of a big crowd, your own fans, and the players have shown a few nerves out there today. They've got to lose those. They've lost the ball, and the counter-attack could be there. Shot blocked here. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. <laughs> Coming off the pitch, number 10, Charlie Austin. Coming onto the pitch, number 7, Shane Mung. Corner played in. And they get it away. He's had it go, that's brave of him. Well, he's cleared the danger. That's a foul, free kick. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Well, this is the time where the managers really earn their money. It's going to be an alteration. Try and improve the team. Now, we've only got four minutes remaining in the match. He's got support here. And that shot's blocked very quickly. What are they going to do here? Well, a few going into the box for this corner. And they could play it short and just try and 
just use up the time that remains. Corner's taken. Defended well. well. With the corner comes the possibility of increasing their lead here. Uh, attack is the best form of defence, they say. And in it goes. Good defensive clearance there. Got to keep the ball here under some pressure. Milivojevic. The fourth and the board shows three added minutes. Minimum of three minutes. Well, if only they played like this a bit earlier, they wouldn't be in this position. They're chasing the game. Defender did well to get to it. Still heading for goal. And he did well to get to the ball first. It's the best I can say. He knows it, the manager. A golden opportunity to get back on level terms. That was really slack by the striker. And Sims. Now he's got the ball, what's he going to do with it? Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Not one from the textbook, that one, a booking, I think. Well, decisive refereeing here. He reached for the card straight away at that offence. Well, you could argue he's been a bit harsh there. Maybe uh, another ref would have just had a word instead of booking him. Well, it is wide, but sometimes I've seen this lad give the keeper the eyes and try and sneak one in at the near post. Delivers it in. Oh, that's good defending. And the referee has now called a halt. Well, you don't have to dominate the football to win the match. This is a perfect example of it. No, there were times when they sat off, they allowed the opposition to have the ball, but really did counter-attack well. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Definitely the team's talisman out there today, in amongst all that was good. Got his team ahead with that goal, too.